I want to share with you the inspiring journey of Tachina Arnold, a talented actress who went from humble beginnings to achieving great success in the entertainment industry. Tachina Rolanda Arnold, better known as Tachina Arnold, is an American actress, a comedian, and a singer who was born on the 28th of June, 1969 in Queens, New York City. Tachina was raised up in a working-class family by her African-American parents who were devoted Christians. Tachina's father, Gene Arnold, worked as a police officer, and Tachina's mother, Diane Arnold, was a sanitation worker. Siblings, whether you have one, two, or even more, siblings can be the best friends you never knew you had, and Tachina is blessed to have a beautiful sister named Zine Arnold, who is her only sibling. At the age of four, Tachina made her first foray into the world of acting when she performed in front of her family and the church congregation. She instantly fell in love with the stage at a young age, and her parents signed her up to a local theater group where she began vocal training. As a teenager, Tachina attended the Fiorella LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts. This is the school most Hollywood stars attended, and it was here at LaGuardia High School that she honed her acting skills and truly blossomed as a performer, receiving guidance from some of the industry's best teachers. With an infectious smile and natural charisma, Tachina quickly became the center of attention wherever she went and by the time she completed high school, she'd already been cast in two films. That is The Brass Ring in 1983 and Little Shop of Horrors in 1986. In 1987, Tachina graduated from LaGuardia High School. She was fully equipped with acting and singing skills and was ready to take over the world with her prowess. She wasted no time in pursuing her dreams and a big break came her way when she landed a role on the soap opera, Ryan's Hope, portraying the character Zena Brown. Her amazing performance led to a Daytime Emmy Award nomination, and from that moment on, there was no turning back. Tachina would go on to play a lead role in the 1992 sitcom, Martin. In this sitcom, she shared the screen set with fellow actors such as Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, Thomas Ford, and Carl Anthony Payne. Her portrayal of the sassy and hilarious character Pam James made the show a success and catapulted her to stardom, making her a household name. Following the success of Martin, Tachina continued to shine on the small screen and would later play a recurring character on the 2001 sitcom One on One. Her talent didn't stop there. In 2005, she went on to portray Rochelle Rock on the critically acclaimed sitcom Everybody Hates Chris. Her portrayal of a strict yet loving mother, earned her widespread recognition and several award nominations. After the conclusion of Everybody Hates Chris, Tachina went on to play lead roles on television shows such as Happily Divorced. That's from 2011 to 2013. Survivor's Remorse from 2014 to 2017 and most recently, The Neighborhood. Did you know that Tachina is not only a talented actress, but also an incredible singer who has released several music singles and even performed at prestigious events? Well, in 2011, she showcased her vocal prowess in the musical comedy series Happily Divorced and even released her own R&B album titled Soul Free. Tachina Arnold's net worth, endorsements, philanthropy, houses, and cars. With a career spanning over three decades, Tachina Arnold has built an impressive resume with notable roles on television shows. For this reason, She's accumulated a substantial net worth through her hard work and dedication. So, what is Tachina Arnold's net worth? According to sources from various publications, Tachina Arnold's net worth is estimated at around $12 million. This is not an astronomical net worth compared to other celebrities, but to most of us, this is quite a lot of money. Tachina Arnold's impressive net worth can be attributed to her successful acting career, business ventures, investments in real estate, and much more. Let's see her net pay salary from acting. One of Tachina's most notable roles was as Pam James in the sitcom Martin, which gained her widespread recognition and popularity in the 90s. Tachina was earning an estimate $45,000 per episode on Martin, which ran for 132 episodes. This helped her achieve financial success and security. It hasn't yet been disclosed how much she earned on the successful hit show, Everybody Hates Chris, but we can assume she earned over $100,000 per episode because, one, she was the lead actress, and second, the show was one of the highly rated sitcoms of the mid-2000s, 
Tachina currently receives an astounding $150,000 per episode for her work on the television show The Neighborhood. Compared to her prior wages, this sum marks a significant gain. Aside television, Tachina Arnold has also appeared in high-grossing films, such as the 2007 comedy film Wild Hogs. This film had a huge box office turnover of $253 million against a budget of $60 million. Furthermore, Tachina Arnold has ventured into the music industry, releasing her debut album Soul Free in 2002. While her music career may not have been as prominent as her acting career, it has still contributed to her overall wealth. Aside being an actress and a singer, did you know that Tachina is also a successful entrepreneur? Well, in 1998, she started her own company known as China Moon Rags. This company specialized in designer headgears and created the most popular scarf and bandana trends of the 2000s. Famous celebrities such as Justin Timberlake, LL Cool J, Alea, Beyonce, and Christina Aguilera flaunted Tachina's bandanas. By keeping up with current trends in fashion and individual tastes, Tachina was able to leverage her celebrity status and creative abilities to generate a significant amount of cash from sales. Aside these ventures, did you know that Tachina is also a savvy real estate investor who's made serious moves in the real estate market? Over the years, she's been buying and selling properties, building her portfolio, and making some impressive profits along the way. Tachina Arnold's House Tour This 4,000-square-feet home, which was built in 2014, sits in the Silver Lake neighborhood of California. The stunning property boasts breathtaking views, top-of-the-line amenities, and a prime location and is the perfect union of modern architecture and pristine craftsmanship. The mansion features five bedrooms and four modern bathrooms. A spacious living room is also a unique feature boasted by this house, and when it comes to cooking, there's plenty of space in this state-of-the-art modern kitchen. The bedrooms are fitted with modern wardrobes, which have plenty of space to store clothes. When you want to have a rest and read a book or even take a quick afternoon nap, this house got you covered as there's plenty of space and comfy couches and seats to ensure that. It comes as no shock that Tachina sold this luxurious mansion for $2.4 million. When you make money, you have to treat yourself, right? Well, let me tell you, Tachina knows how to treat herself. One of her favorite ways to splurge is by indulging in some retail therapy. Tachina is a devoted follower of fashion who loves hitting up high-end fashion boutiques and treating herself to the latest designer clothes and accessories. From glamorous gowns to trendy streetwear, her closet is a fashion lover's dream. Tachina Arnold Cars In addition to being a fashionista, Tachina also has a passion for automobiles. She enjoys owning and driving some of the best luxurious cars money can buy. In her car collection is the Rolls-Royce Wraith with an auction price of $340,000. A Cadillac XTS valued at $47,000 is also another luxurious car owned by Tachina. All these flashy rides ensures that she always arrives in style when attending red carpet events. But Tachina's luxuries aren't just material possessions. She also values experiences and loves to travel the world. From luxurious beach resorts to exotic destinations, the award-winning actress enjoys exploring new cultures and indulging in the finest accommodations. Standing at 5'6", Tachina has an average body build which weighs 58 kilograms. Her zodiac sign is Cancer. When it comes to her personality, the multi-talented Tachina is known for her vibrant and friendly nature. She has a magnetic presence that can light up any room she walks into. Her infectious laughter and million-dollar smile instantly put people at ease. But did you know behind that smile there's a lot of sadness and a lot of cries from heartbreaks? Now. Let's take a peek into her love life and see how it all started. In 1992, after landing a role on the television show Martin, Tachina met the American former professional boxer Lamon Brewster. The two grew fond of each other, and after dating for one month, they got married. The first three months of marriage were good, after which things took a turn for the worse. Tachina strived to make things work, but her efforts were futile. In 1996, that's four years after saying their vows, the couple's marriage eventually ended in divorce. Five years later, that's in the year 2001, Tachina was in a low point in her life. Well, for starters, she'd suffered a divorce. 
Second, the sitcom Martin, which used to be her bread and butter, had officially ended. Calls weren't coming in like they used to, therefore good money wasn't coming. Tachina needed a distraction from all of this, and that's how she entered into a relationship with the musically talented Grammy Award winner Carvin Higgins. Her attraction to him was so strong and the two started dating. Unfortunately, their relationship ended when Carvin broke up with her. One thing about Tachina is that she doesn't give up easily, even in her first marriage. After the breakup, she continued keeping contact with Carvin in a bid to keep him on side, even getting pregnant for him. In 2004, Tachina Arnold welcomed a beautiful baby girl who she named Elijah Kai Haggins. Raising a child is not an easy task, especially when you're single, and this is what Tachina had to deal with. Tachina would struggle explaining to her daughter why her dad wasn't present in her life. She would get into a depression, but as we know, there's always calm after the storm. For a few years, she lay low on relationships, but in the year 2011, love struck her way when she met the basketball coach, Rico Hines. She couldn't say no as she had found a man who truly understood her, Following a five-month engagement, Tachina Arnold and Rico Hines got married in Hawaii. Tachina thought her prayers were answered, but there's a twist to this. Rico Hines, her husband, who was meant to be her healer, had affairs with multiple women and was cheating on her. Tachina could no longer trust him, and in 2016, that is four years after their wedding, they separated. In 2021, their divorce was finalized. Tachina's perspective on marriage undoubtedly changed after this, and she declared she'd never get married again. Tachina Arnold Philanthropy Tachina Arnold has been actively involved in various charitable causes. One of her notable contributions is her work with the We Win Foundation. This organization focuses on empowering and supporting individuals affected by lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease. In addition to her involvement with the We Win Foundation, Tachina has also been a supporter of organizations like the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. She understands the importance of providing a safe and nurturing environment for young people to thrive. It's truly inspiring to see someone like Tachina Arnold using her fame and influence to make a difference in the lives of others. Her dedication to philanthropy serves as a reminder that we all have the power to create positive change, no matter our circumstances. Let's take a page out of her book and find ways to give back to our communities. What do you like about Tachina Arnold? Let us know on the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a like. Subscribe if you are new, and we shall see you on our next video.